Hey guys, I'm Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop. Welcome to week three of our Merry Mini Sew Along, which is our Christmas in July for 2019. If you wanna sew along with us, you just need a layer cake, one and a half yards background, and a binding and backing, and today we're working on the house block. So let's get started. So our first step is to cut our fabric, and today what I'm gonna be doing is cutting, just so you can see how I cut. Um, we'll fast forward a little bit through it, and then I'm gonna be putting everything as I cut on my design board with my alphabetty so that when we go to sew, everything is on here, and we can just lift this up and go straight to our sewing table. So I'm just gonna start cutting, and to download the free pattern, just click in the description box, and the free pattern should be in there. So when I get to D, I've already looked over my pattern and I know that is a half square triangle. I'm gonna figure out what the finished size is and I'm gonna use triangle paper instead of cutting it that way. And that is how I do all of my half square triangles is triangle paper. So this one is a three inch finished size. So now I have everything cut, and what I'm going to do is kind of lay out some things that I can chain piece all at one time. So I'm gonna do several steps at one time, and this is a way for you to see how I save time at home. So I'll just lay some stuff out that I know when I go to the sewing table. I can do the top row, I can do the half square triangle, and I can do the flying geese. So on the flying geese today, I'm not gonna draw a line from corner to corner because then you can see how on my machine, I follow the line with the tape that I have put down. You can either use painter's tape or washi tape. So let's get stitching. So for my flying geese, I have my tape centered with the center of my needle. So I can just place the corner of my square on that line. So 
So now I'm going to cut a quarter inch away from the flying geese. I'm gonna trim my solid lines on my half square triangle, press, and then go back to the sewing machine. So now I have my next steps laid out and we can go to the sewing machine. So I've got the roof done. And I made sure my points matched. Now here you can see that I kept all my pieces together like that and that makes it really easy so when you come to your ironing board nothing moves out of place. And then I just need to take this little piece to the sewing, sewing um, machine and stitch it together. So I just get my little star ready and then the rest of this is all just straight stitching. So I'm just going to pin the sides, stitch, iron, and at this point I've got bigger pieces, so I can just take the bigger pieces directly to the machine since I don't have a lot of little pieces to do. So I can just go straight to the sewing machine with this. So I'm going to add the A to the bottom, stitch, press, and then you can't really save time in this step just because you can't really chain piece, but if you were doing several blocks at one time, you could, you could do all of the steps at the same time. We are almost done. I'm loving how all the colors are looking on this. So we've just got two pieces left. We're going to pin those to the side and take that to the sewing machine and just stitch those two seams. And then we will be at our last step.
very last step, guys. And I love the colors, how they're coming together. I really like the combination of this navy and aqua. So all you have to do now is put these together and your seams will nest. You're gonna wanna pin right in those seams and make your last seam on this beautiful block. So all I have to do is press this last seam And then what I like to do when I'm done with my blocks is just trim slightly the edge just to get all the fray off and get it perfectly square. And you're not gonna take much off, you're just gonna get it to where it lines up. It makes it when you piece it into your quilt a little bit easier and it just makes it look a little bit prettier. So that is our house block. Thank you so much for joining me for our Merry Mini Christmas in a July. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified when I have a new video and like this video. And I just wanted to show you, this is the house block. Week one, we did the poinsettia block. And week two, we did the snowflake block. And if you wanna join us next Tuesday, I will be showing you the tree block. See you next week. Thank you.